Of course the fuse is missing for the lights. Jenny wasn't prone to sentimentality, but seeing her father's desk, the disorganized muddle of books, photos, and the faint smell of ammonia, all remind us that her dad was here not so long ago. Miss you, Dad. bonds of marriage. Mom and Dad both worked an awful lot. Jenny rarely saw the two of them together. Flora, written by Weiss, Felding, and Strausberry. Did the Dean write this book? Dad's accident. Mom must have kept it. the lab explosion an accident, but everyone in town seemed to blame Dad. report. I've never seen this before. This contradicts the newspaper article which stated my dad made a mistake. Everyone in town blamed him for the accident. But they were all wrong. The lab was unsafe. He shouldn't have been working there.
the Dean signed the report. Someone had circled the signature in red pen. He must have known that the lab was unsafe, but still let my dad work in there? October 5th. That was one week before. Her father's accident. Any rational mind could see it. Strong evidence linking her mom to the Dean's death. This doesn't prove anything. But it was a clear motive for murder. Revenge. My mom wouldn't do that. But who else would see it that way? There must be an explanation. I just don't know what it is yet. I can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Was Jenny sure this was the right thing to do? It broke every rule in the book. Why would she need to hide evidence if her mom was truly innocent? Mom isn't here to defend herself. It isn't fair. But however she tried to justify it, Jenny knew this wasn't the choice of a great detective. I need to buy myself some time. I can't afford anyone jumping to conclusions before I've had a chance to investigate. Years ago, I looked like a kid. One of the rare times that Dad wasn't making a goofy face. He used to say, serious people make serious mistakes. I might, um, uh, need this later. Quantum tunneling and adaptive spectral optics. Sounds like a real page turner. Dad was such a nerd. Fuse. And then there was light. Jenny would need to work quickly to remain undetected. Who knows when they'll come back. Now, where's the most likely place to find a makeshift detective kit? One test tube looks recently used. The others are all covered in dust. A small puddle of liquid had pooled on the desk. Looks fresh. Still sticky.
The week after Jenny's father died, her mum boxed up his things and tucked them away in the basement. Jenny had argued with her. It was like she was trying to erase him. But seeing them now, being reminded of him, Jenny understood. I don't think mom would have put her CSI equipment in any of these boxes. A shaft of light peeked through the boxes. There's more stuff back there. I just need a way through. Jenny's instincts had been correct. Dozens of boxes lined the back wall of the basement. There's probably something useful here, but it'll take forever to search through them all. CSI supplies. That must be Mom's old gear. Good as mine, but at least it works. More or less. My key to the city, an old set of lock picks. away at the bottom of the box, something colorful caught Jenny's eye. She pulled it carefully from the container and unfolded it. This must be Mom's old jacket. It smelled the formaldehyde and fingerprint powder. From her CSI days. And so, she tried it on. Glove. A giant oversized glove. Mm, and it smells like mom. Her mother had never felt so close, and yet so far away. I won't let them take you away from me too. Jenny's search was complete. It's not the world's best detective kit, but it'll do. For the first time in her life, she felt like a real detective. She had a serious crime to solve and a seriously sharp outfit to match. <gasps> Somebody else is here. was no cop. What was he doing in my house? I should follow him. Mysterious man in black.
the man in black. Who was he? Where was he going? There was only one way to find out. Where are you headed, creepy man in black? Jenny couldn't simply chase the mysterious figure. He's bound to notice me if I follow too closely. I need to get out of his line of sight. Keith was here to pull a ladder down. I'll just have to get it down the old-fashioned way. There he is. The bridge should slow him down a bit. Huh? How did he do that? had taken the higher path towards the Almas Dunn Bridge. That's a dead end. Why is he going up there? There's nowhere to hide on the bridge. I'll go underneath and spy on him from there.
Jenny couldn't just walk onto the bridge and blow her cover. No, she'd keep her distance and see what the man in black would reveal when he didn't know he was being watched. <laughs>